All right, today is Monday. Hope everybody's having a great uh, start to it. And I have two videos in the works. This is one of... Uh, I have a new computer mouse here that um, is driving me crazy. The previous one got uh, tore up, uh, tripped over the cord, and it was having all kinds of errors. So I had to throw that one away. Um, anyway, um, I got a bunch of mail today is what I'm trying to get at. Spit it out, dude. And uh, this person, uh, Henry Richter here, was born in California, served in World War II, worked at uh, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, NASA, um, UCLA, headed design and development of the first satellite, and I got him TTM. That's really cool. Um, and he's, he's probably close to 100. And Henry Richter signed his first day of issue, Nicholas Copernicus envelope. I think I bought that on eBay for a dollar free shipping or something ridiculous and so I had him sign that so that's really cool signed in a pretty good spot there so that's pretty neat uh, the next one and the address is on the envelope um, this one here is from Thomas Kratt and he coded and debugged and documented the navigation program for P-23 which the astronauts used to correct the spacecraft drift between the earth and the moon and I had this 30th anniversary of Apollo 11 1969 to 1999 envelope here. Uh, Thomas E. Kent, P23. And he sent this um, bonus item, which is all folded to heck, and, um, and autographed that as well. So that's really pretty cool. It says August 1961. And this is more or less probably a, a, within the last 10 years picture probably of him. So that's pretty cool there to have that little diagram there. I'll try to flatten that out and put that in my binder. And i got a couple other items here. One of them is a purchase, and this was $1.99 free shipping, if you can believe that. And this is the International Space Station Expedition 5 launching. I don't know, sorry, landing. This is for STS-113, and that is going to be going off to a retired astronaut that I do not have in my collection. I think it's going to go off to... I'm not really sure. It says Whitson right there, so uh, but it says STS-113, so um, I think it's um, one of the uh, few Native American astronauts. I can't think of his name right now, but I'm going to be sending off that to him. Sending that off to him. So that was really cheap. Here's one of my custom postcards that got a little damaged here. This was like a little slide, I think. It was a slide that I had um, turned into a photograph of a Joshua tree or something like that. And... Um, so there, uh, and you can see the color is faded uh, because the color is faded, but I just thought it was cool looking. So I glued that onto a piece of cardboard, made it into a cardboard, and Thermal California has canceled that for me. You can barely read that there, but I have written Thermal right here in pencil so I know who that is to cross that off. So that is cool there. And then I got um, another postcard here from Awani, Awani, California. And boy, this was this was a tough and well, or a tough postcard because it had a, somebody's old address on there, which I tried to do in green pen, which didn't work, and then I had to do it in black pen, and then it didn't cancel very well on the stamp here, the new one, um, and then um, and then I had to put extra stamps on the back, which I had to cover. It was some flyer for a uh, a stamp event that never got mailed out, and I, me being a cheapskate here, I wanted to use that 13 cent postcard so I altered it and some of the stamps unfortunately got upside down I actually upside downed a few stamps there but there's that one Awani California just trying to use whatever I have because reinventing the wheel cost me a lot of money I mean even if it's a quarter per time uh, now here's another one here from Davenport California I think they're somewhere off on the coast of California um, there's huge waves on the Pacific Coast, got kind of tore up there and really beat up on the front, really trashed. Um, and they decided to only cancel one stamp. I put some vintage stamps on there because they're a really ancient postcard and they didn't cancel anything over there because um, I guess they are allergic to canceling uh, stamps. I have no idea, but there's at least one cancel right there. People think you just want the one cancel. I just want everything canceled. Theoretically, a person could cut this postcard in half and soak those off and reuse them, but I don't suggest doing that, but that's just kind of what that is anyway. So Davenport, California, and that is all I have today. I'll have another video in the works and hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching.